How's it going, YouTube? What is going on? Zero Baron here. Welcome to Frozen State. One of the most interesting games I've seen in a while. I've played around half an hour of this game just to get the feel of it, make sure the game runs okay. I'll show you the graphics since I've currently got it on. It's currently quite low, looks pretty bad in this kind of thing, but it's only ready I can get a steady like 25 FPS. The graphics on full I will show at the end of the video if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, let's go into a new game. Currently only have Ingvar, but each character will have their own stats and stuff. Uh, occupation SDNS Officer. He's 80 to 51 years old. You can't choose any other characters. Have his own strengths and weaknesses to make it seemingly effect playstyle. Now, before we begin, you will notice a very similar game to this. As soon as we get in. Welcome to Dugger 40. You can read all that if you want. You pause the video. But yeah, this game has a high emphasis on cold, so you want to be careful on that. See, it's only like it because uh, my computer turned the setting down and stuff. The game does look considerably better than this. Uh, higher. Not The game itself doesn't look amazing, but it does look really good. So, of course, if you played it, you recognize... Uh, got doors. Uh, this game looks a lot like Project Zomboid, it's essentially that. But in 3D, which is awesome. So I'm quickly just gonna go and loot this house. Oh, another guy. Punk outfit. <laughs> I think I looted that before. 10 bonus 6. Oh, we have a, we have a gun this time. Oh, we have ammo anyway. We have a flashlight as well. What? Can we put this on us? We can. We do have a gun. We have an old. Oh, okay, so it is, it, it is uh, around a generator. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, so it's 10 bonus points. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna want the punk outfit then. Because, like I said, if you're listening, um, this game has a heavy emphasis on cold. And I'm just gonna go back down here quickly. Where is it? Cyanide. You can, if you want, kill yourself. I haven't tried that out yet. Let me just... Oh, hold on. See, it was like you said. I've never had a gun before. Whoa. Awesome. I've only been in a conflict once before. But yeah, so you can hide in wardrobes because there are enemies. I'm not entirely sure what kind of enemies there are, really. I've only seen one zombie-type creature thing. It's called a grunt. Lab desk one. Buck there. Alpha. Alpha, guys. Alpha. Now let's head out and show you the outside. Oh! Here. This is one thing that they have. A lock on a door. The first one is pretty easy to find out. It's literally right here. You can't really read it because the graphic settings are low, like I've shown you. So remember, don't take this as an extra representative. I, luckily, I, I remember the code. So, yeah. This is the beautiful cold outside. If we just stand still, if you watch that. Is it not cold enough? It's not co okay, it's not cold enough yet. But when it goes night time, it gets really cold, and you can... You should do it now, shouldn't it? I'll show you later. Anyway, I've, I've gone left before. I'll show you. I'll, I'll go right this time so I can see something different. And these are zones you can travel to different places and such. Fortunately, it's not completely open world, but it is open world in that sense. Oh, it was doing it then. Oh no. Stop when I get in here. Because we stand still now. You can slightly see it turning now. Basically, if you stand still, the colder you become really cold, so you don't want to go AFK, even though I don't know why you'd want to go AFK. Pausing does work normally. Just pause it. There are sleeping bags coming in the next update. I was going to wait for them, but... I decided not to, as I may continue this. I believe keeping the doors open does make it colder in the room, so you want to close the doors. I'm not entirely sad about that, but I'm sure they will add that in the future, because that sounds like a really cool feature. They will also warn you... One of like the, uh... I think it's on the sleep thing. Let... Oh shit! 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, it's a gaunt. Had a gun. Went quicker than the last time I saw my first enemy. Feels like we can't go through there. Shit, let's get the crap out of here. So now there is no door. We do have an electric lock picker now, so if we come across... Okay, so now it's really cold, so you wanna... We may wanna start heading back. But just for... Time being, we're gonna go and check out this house here, and then we're gonna go back. You notice here, this, is, this will start depleting. You see it's gone quite low now, because I was hit. That's my health. Oh shit, there are physics. I wonder what I meant by physics. You know, thing. <laughs> I didn't know I could go and kick a chair over. You can hide inside this dumpster. I originally thought it made you warmer, but I don't think it does. Here's all the stats and stuff. Burns, fractures, bleeding, fatigue, temperature, dehydration, and hunger. I believe that's how worn out is. I'm not entirely sure what that actually is. But that's what I'm going with. Bicycle bag. I'm not sure how you equip bags and stuff, because it doesn't seem to let me. I did have a backpack, but it wouldn't let me equip it, so... Okay, now we're getting very cold. Once that goes in the red, we will start dying. So here's the gate we came in. Let's go inside. See, now you can see on the edges. Getting a little blurry, so we want to go inside. Fortunately, we're not going to be entirely warm in here. So if we go over... We are actually getting warmer in here, actually. But if it was cold enough, we'd go up to this fire. Because he's getting us warmer now. And warm ourselves up. So yeah. It's the game at the moment. I don't know what else there really is, but I haven't really played too long to get into it. We search somewhere, yeah. Uh if you sleep while you're cold, it does affect you. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how much it affects you, but it'd say it affects you. I managed to just sleep it off once before, but I don't really know. So if you want to read this. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep for like nine hours. Cause it's probably about okay. It's getting cold. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we won't die. We went down a little bit. It's still quite dark. So, oh yeah, crafting. I should say that. You can craft food. You can kettle of coffee, kettle of tea, pot of borscht, pot of buckwheat, buckwheat porridge, pot of clear soup, pot of fish soup. Pot of rat stew, pot of rice, and pot of spaghetti. Can't really craft that. And campfire, we don't actually have any paper. That's, a, that's actually a problem, I thought we did. Oh. Sorry, haven't we? Alright, so I'm going to let along left to record. But I'm going to, so I'm going to save the last little bit so I can show you what the highest quality looks like in this house. But yeah, I highly recommend, sh like, I guess keeping tabs on this game. It's not the most fulfilled game I haven't seen at the moment. But it does have a lot of potential, like, I haven't checked out the entire thing, so there are plenty of things I could have easily missed, more enemies and such. There was warnings about bandits and stuff, so I'm get guessing they're in the game as well. Animation quality is really good. Graphics are quite good when they're on max. But yeah, the get game runs really smooth, especially on my computer. Even on medium. But yeah... I'll probably do more of this game in the future as it develops, because it is a very interesting game, and I am very intrigued in it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.